Anytime Springfield residents and businesses use water to clean their dishes, wash their clothes, or flush their toilet, that water begins a several mile journey through wastewater pipe underground all the way up to the regional wastewater treatment plant in North Eugene. Our job in Springfield's Development and Public Works Department is to make sure that journey runs as smoothly as possible by monitoring and maintaining the city's wastewater system. Every day looks a little different, but some of the projects we work on include repairing or rehabbing aging and leaking wastewater pipes, cleaning out pipelines, and inspecting different sections of pipe using CCTV cameras. All of these activities are part of our CMOM, or Capacity Management Operations and Maintenance Program which helps to guide the work we do in a strategic way. Before any of those daily activities can happen though, our team in operations works closely with engineering to model the system and come up with a plan. Starts with the planning, which is we do a hydraulic model, we keep update on that model. So again, we can model the behavior of the system and know where issues may be so we can predict those. And then we put that into the five-year capital improvement program and ultimately the capital budget. And so we can not only make sure we have enough financial wherewithal to, to maintain the system. The two main issues we're looking to prevent through upkeep of our wastewater system are sanitary sewer overflows, or SSOs, and infiltration and inflow, or I&I. &I. SSOs occur when wastewater leaks out of the pipe, reaching the surface of the ground, which is a hazard to both public health and the environment. Infiltration and inflow is stormwater and groundwater that seeps into the wastewater system. When this happens, water that is already clean mixes with wastewater, increasing the load on the entire system of pipes. Engineering divides Springfield into micro basins to identify parts of the city with the greatest potential for these issues so that we can get ahead of the problem. They also plan for the future expansion of the city. That will help us prioritize locations that have probably the highest need of work right away where we will remove the most um, stormwater I and I from the system the fastest. So in essence, getting the best um, project for the dollar. Once we've identified sections of pipe that need to be focused on first, it's time to get to work. Today, we took our Vactor truck over to the historic Washburn District to repair a leaking section of wastewater pipe. We dug down to the top of the pipe using the Vactor truck to vacuum up soil and roots. Once we reached the top of the pipe, we spotted the problem. Roots had grown into the pipe over time, creating a large hole. We used a chain pipe cutter to remove the leaking section of pipe, replaced it with new PVC pipe, and used fittings to connect the new pipe for the existing pipe. Then we filled the trench back in using sand to hold the wastewater line securely in place. In addition to repairs and rehabilitation projects like this one, the CMOM program guides our proactive maintenance efforts to prevent leaks before they even happen. So some of our preventative maintenance, um, and these are usually daily, would be um, closed circuit TV, which is sewer inspection through camera. Um, we run a camera system up the sewer line and we visually inspect the insides of the sewers. We also do um, high velocity cleaning, which is a uh, high pressured water truck that will clean, clean the insides of the sewers and uh, we can use it for breaking through blockages, uh, grease, roots. Those measures as well as flow metering, um, monitoring for I&I, &I, which is infiltration and inflow, and staying ahead of problems before they become an issue that we would need to make a repair. Let's take a closer look at where this all takes place. More than 225 miles of wastewater pipe run underground throughout the city of Springfield. Each home and business has a private lateral, a three or four inch pipe that connects to the city's wastewater system. Home and business owners are responsible for their private laterals. The public lines are what we take care of. This is what the inside of the sewer looks like when it's functioning properly. And this is what it looks like when infiltration and inflow are seeping in. Fortunately, we can spot this through TV inspections before it becomes a larger problem. You might be wondering, where do all these wastewater pipes lead? All wastewater from throughout the Eugene Springfield area is transported to the Metropolitan Wastewater Management Commission's Regional Wastewater Treatment Plant in North Eugene. It gets there by way of 49 pump stations throughout the region that route the wastewater here. So the MWMC is a partnership of the cities of Eugene, Springfield, and Lane County. It was formed under an intergovernmental agreement in 1977 to treat uh, wastewater on a regional basis. Um, the cities of Eugene and Springfield and MWMC jointly hold a 
Uh, wastewater discharge permit has been issued to us by the Department of Environmental Quality. Uh, the partnership is very important because it, has, because it takes uh, all three government agencies and the MWMC working together collectively to convey and treat uh, wastewater and return it safely and cleanly to the Willamette River. So the MWMC cleans about 13 billion gallons of wastewater annually. Uh, that's billion with a B. And yes, we see positive impacts here at the plant from the City of Seamom programs. For a period of years, we saw an increasing trend in the amount of water that was sent our way from the local communities. Uh, but on an annual basis, that flow is stabilized over time, and we're not seeing those increases uh, anymore. Continued investment in this infrastructure, both at the regional treatment plant and underground throughout our city, are imperative. And it's ultimately cheaper to perform preventative maintenance over time than it is to repair a large section of the system if it failed. Wastewater infrastructure is almost entirely ratepayer funded, and we take stewardship of those funds very seriously. What we don't want is to suddenly find ourselves in a position where we have to go replace uh, 10 miles of pipe or something like that. That either depletes the reserves that we may have on hand or requires us to go out and borrow money, which costs. This incremental investment in our wastewater system helps to protect public health and our local environment. So the end process of all the water coming from the local communities through the pipe systems and the pump stations here to the plant is that it goes through our treatment plant processes and gets cleaned and is discharged to the Willamette River in a clean state. So clean water returned to the Willamette River um, and that corresponds with the MWMC's mission of protecting the health and safety of our local environment and the Willamette River. Wastewater removal is an essential service and it takes a team of trained professionals and the right equipment to get the job done safely and efficiently. It's not always a clean job, but it's an important one that we take pride in for the health and well-being of our community. Our community's health and environment are worth protecting as we continue to provide services for our growing city. The capacity, management, operations, and maintenance program plays an important role in making sure that happens for years to come. If you want to learn more about Springfield's wastewater system, head to our website, springfield-or.gov.